Oh, how the rain smells. Exactly like the apples by us left to drain in the garret. If this you know the first May rain, at my house, at home, at our house, they've already cooked shav, cold soup with lots of fresh vegetables. When the May rain comes, when it pours, the May rain, they've already cooked shav and borscht. I love them. And the goats are already dancing in the fields, and the rafts are already swimming on the water, and Franek takes the shiksas to the bar and dances with them. Oh, and the wifeys, they must be already making cheesecake because it's Shavuos. You have to have cheesecake on Shavuos. Avade. Do you know what? I'm going to go home and buy a new summer polarina for this Shavuos. <gasps> if I stroll down to the kolya in this kapalush, oh, they plot, they poop out their bile from envy. <laughs> what? No, I would go. But I'm scared to death of my father. He's been looking for me with an iron pipe. He once caught me with Franek dancing at the Kretschmer, and he gave me such a clap on my hand with the pipe. I still have the scar to this day. I came from a good home. My father was the butcher. The guys I could have married, the shidduchs I could have had, one shidduch I could have had was with Notke, the meat cleaver. I still have the gold ring he gave me, Holomoid Sukkis. He wanted to become my husband, but I didn't wanna. I didn't wanna. He stinks of ox flesh. They called him Stinky. Go marry Stinky and every year make another little Stinky. <laughs> Here I am, you know, a free woman. I have my basket of fancy underpants, dresses at least a little bit prettier than any rich man's wife back home. If I wore this down Marshalkovska Street, I'd become a sensation. Sparks would fly. Oh. I wish everybody in my town could see me in this dress. I'd sashay down from the train station. They'd explode out of spite in a fit of poopoplexy right there and then, dropping to the ground, riding in agony on the sidewalk. <laughs> but my mother died because of it. She couldn't bear it. The heart tells. I've never even been to her grave. She comes to me at night in a dream. She comes to me in her burial shroud and brings me some shav to eat. And when I go to take it, her hands turn into prickly thorns and she starts ripping my hair out by the handful. <laughs> <laughs>